So, it is time for... It's time for me to put a new round of cushion grip on. Yes, it is. But I think this is a great time to tell people exactly why this is happening with dentures and why you should try and avoid it if at all possible. You see, what's going on here is a woman who has full dentures top and bottom, and she has no implants at all. And as you can see, after a while, her dentures start to get really loose. In fact, so loose that they just kind of fall out of your mouth. And so every so often, she has to do what we call relining the dentures. Now, you can either do this professionally with acrylic, or you can do it with with like at home kits like she's using here. But Bentus, why does it just stop fitting after a couple months? That makes no sense. Your body doesn't change, does it? Well, actually, it does. Your jaw does change. You see, the roots of your teeth are not only there to hold your teeth into the bone, they are actually there to stimulate the jaw bone, keeping the jaw intact. And so if you've ever heard of the term, if you don't use it, you lose it, the same thing happens with teeth. If a tooth is lost and it's not activating that jaw bone, that jaw bone will start to recede away. And so what's happening with her is every couple months when they stop fitting, her jaw is just getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and it's whittling away and even though this woman has made it more comfortable for herself by relining it she is basically slowly deteriorating every month until she will have no bone left and her nose and chin will touch all the way here because there's just no bone mass anymore and so I think this is an important service announcement I mean, I'm sure she obviously did not choose to have no teeth and, and probably could not be in in a financial situation for the implant supported dentures but that being said it's still very good to know this because it's very important that if you lose a tooth you need to get it replaced and the only way to actively replace a tooth that is completely gone is an implant now you don't have to have implants in every single one of the teeth areas in fact she could get like three or four implants on top and three or four implants on bottom spread out evenly to activate and keep that bone healthy for longer and even if you have one tooth missing if you don't replace that one tooth that bone will start to go up like this end up causing the bone on both sides of the tooth next to it to go away those teeth collapse those fall out and then the domino effect happens and this is actually why all of our grandparents and some parents in the past all were in dentures in the past because you would lose one teeth, there was no implant to support it, and then the rest of them would just kind of fall down like dominoes. So one, if you do have a missing tooth, you need to get it replaced with an implant ASAP. If you are in dentures like this lady here and you're just constantly relining it, it is just a matter of time until there is no hope left and no ridge left and then no relining can help get it back in action. So you need to get uh, save up, do something to get some implanted dentures, even if it's only one, two, or three in the top and bottom, it's going to be a world of difference for you in the long. Term. And for those of you with teeth, make sure to brush and floss and don't even give yourself the situation necessary to get in this position. Hope that helps.